Okay, hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy home specific gravity test to help test your minerals and uh, help identify what you got some, uh, when you're uh, at home identifying minerals for yourself. I got uh, some of the equipment you need here. First, a half weight accurate scale that could get down to tenths of a gram. This one gets to a hundredth of a gram, but at least tenths of a gram would be recommended. Uh, a piece of string or thread as I have here, um, a cup of water, the mineral or minerals that you want to test, and a piece of paper and a calculator. Okay, I have a piece of quartz, and it should end up with a gravity of 2.65, but let's start with the dry weight. Let's see what we get here. Oops, uh, it helps to turn on your scale. Make sure it's zeroed. Okay, let's see what we get. 46.48. Put that in the dry weight category. Then I have a piece of microcline feldspar, which is similar and almost should be the, about the same specific gravity as Amazonite feldspar. Let's make sure this is zeroed. All right. And we got 49.68 about. 49.67. Nope. Eight. Okay, next I have a piece of fluorite. Get the dry weight on that one, 38.69. And last but not least, we have a piece of gertite. Eighty-five point eight one. Eighty-five point eight zero. Okay, now that we have the dry weight of those, we'll start by taking our string and we'll tie it around one of the minerals so that we can dangle it into the water. Okay, we'll set our water, protect our scale from the dripping water here, and we'll zero our scale with the water on there. Okay, there we go. Now as we dip the crystal into the water without touching the sides of the cup, we should get a reading on the scale from the water displacement. Try to hold it just below the water line. Hopefully without touching the sides. We're getting about 17.59. Your mineral will soak up a tiny bit of water. But we'll write that number down, 17.59. you re-zero your scale because it'll take away some of the water. Tie the next mineral which is feldspar, microcline feldspar.
once again dip it just below the water line and try to not touch the sides of the cup and we're getting right about 20.55 right about there Twenty point five five. Tie the next mineral, which is the fluorite. zero your scale because of the water that gets taken away each time. Make sure the mineral is completely submerged just below the water line. I'm not touching the sides of the cup. 12.65 Zero that. Then we'll tie the final mineral, the gear tight. so it's hard not to touch the sides. Make sure it's all the way in. Twenty point five I think is what I was getting. It's fluctuating a little bit, but let's try might be touching the sides here. Nineteen point seven is what I was getting. Alrighty. Now, once you get the reading of the dry weight of the mineral you're testing and the displacement weight that you got when you were dipping it into the water, take the first number. 46.48 and then you divide that by the second number, the displacement number, 17.59 and you get 2.642 which is really close to where we're supposed to be at. 2.642 Quartz is supposed to be right about 2.65. So with air bubbles and impurities, it can be a little heavier or a little bit lighter, but we're right in the right range right there. All right, let's do the second number, the microcline feldspar, which should be around 2.5 to 2.6. So 49.68. Divided by 20.55. We get 2.41. A little bit on the light side. 2.417. Just a little bit lighter than it says there. It might be because of air bubbles or just a little bit of inaccuracy when I was getting the numbers. Let's do the fluoride next. That should be right about 3.0 or th to 3.2. 38.69 to 
divided by 12.65, 3.058. So we're definitely in the in the fluorite range there. And last but not least, the gertite. Eighty five point eight zero divided by nineteen point seven. We're looking at four point three five five. So that one's on a little bit on the heavy side. Four point three five five. Now, I may have been touching the cup too on that one, so it may have distorted a little bit, but we're, as you can see, we're right in the range for Gertite there. So yeah, when you're in the future, if you're trying to test your minerals um, and you think you know it's a topaz or you want to double check that it's a topaz and not a quartz, you can perform this test at home and get a good idea of what you actually got and put it up, up there against minerals you think it is uh, and kind of verify and narrow down what you actually got. So I hope you enjoyed the video on this uh, gravity test for at home, and uh, good rock hunting out there.